This is our stewardship and membership season at South Point Church. Hey, listen, this coming week, uh, we're going to pray for new members. So if you're new to us, or you really, I've been asking people that need to reestablish their commitment to the local body of Christ. Would you read through this? If you agree with it, sign up and we'll make sure come to church this Sunday. We're going to pray for you. And it's going to be a wonderful time as we move forward together into the future of what God has for us. Also, stewardship time. I'm asking everybody to look over this pledge card and a re again because of what's taking place with COVID and the reestablishment of what we need to do together. Here's our Standing Stones pledge card with attached to do with tithes and offerings. I'm going to talk to you about that this Sunday. And then also uh, the play yard. We're raising money for the play yard and our Standing Stones giving for the church facility. Also this week, we are kicking off in our year of dream again. We're this time to dream spiritual growth campaign. It's actually an experience. If you haven't gotten your book yet, let's get going this week. They're available at South Point. We can get them for you online as well. Just communicate with us. Go to southpointchurch.com. Click, scroll to the bottom of the front page, and you'll see everything about this campaign. And it's talking about open doors for your future and my future. Um, Revelation chapter 3 talks, Jesus said, uh, the, I open doors that no one can close. You believe that one? The way that the doors work in the Bible are really interesting. If you've ever been in a hotel room where there's two doors that's adjoining another room, you know that one side can be open, but the other side closed. So it's really interesting that God would say, His door is open. The opportunities are there with God. But much like a hotel room that has two doors, that are adjoined together, one's right next to the other one, God's side's already open, and what God's challenge is to you and I, whether it comes to joining the body, uni unifying, or stu membership, or stewardship, or serving, loving, giving, whatever it might be, God's side is already open. He's made a way for you and I not only to participate, but to be blessed because you do. But what He challenges us to do is open our side. That's the other door. And He says, if you'll open the door... He will come into you and you will come into Him and there'll be a meeting, if you will, of the Lord in your life. And that's what He's looking to do. Every time we obey, there is, if you will, the opportunity to walk through a doorway of God's will, which ends up being His presence, His blessing in our lives. So that's this season for us. I trust that you'll either get, uh, get a book and become a host, which I hope you'll do because it's really simple to do, or you become part of a group to do that. That's what this is about, entering to the doorways that God has for you and I. This week is the doorway of discipleship. Bless you as you step through that door.